Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Today, we're going to explore the abandoned ghost town of Rhyolite and some of the abandoned mines up there. So without further ado, let's go on that adventure. I'm going to keep this history lesson brief because honestly, guys, the history of Rhyolite could really realistically be its own separate video. But basically, Rhyolite was founded in 1904 when prospector Frank Shorty Harris found a bunch of gold in them hills. He told everyone about it, and by 1906, industrialist Charles Schwab purchased the area and vastly expanded the mine and built a huge mill. And by 1908, it was a full-fledged town with over 5,000 people in it, complete with banks, a stock exchange, a train station, and even electricity. The area was called the Bullfrog Mining District because miners said the rock looked like a bullfrog since it was green and had gold specks in it, those gold specks being gold. But that gold didn't run forever, and by 1916, after a huge gold rush in the 1900s, the town was abandoned and the electricity was finally shut off and now it looks like this. Well, that was a brief, brief history of Rhyolite. If you want to learn more, I suggest going to Rhyolite's Wikipedia page or Death Valley National Park's article on Rhyolite. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's go explore. So Rhyolite is located about two hours northwest of Las Vegas, about 120 miles north. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take US 95 north all the way until you get to Beatty. Turn left on State Route 374 in Beatty. Drive it for about five miles. Turn right, and then you'll be at Rhyolite. All right, guys, we're here at Rhyolite, an old ghost town by Beatty, about two hours north of Vegas. Behind me, there's a train depot station. Interesting. So this was the main uh, train station here in the town. There's extensive gold mines around here. That's uh, basically what led to the opening of Rhyolite. And it was just abandoned in 1916. Um, they played basketball, they had a stock exchange. It was a real, real town out here. And now just by the wayside, Rhyolite, the town is located in the bullfrog hills and let me show you guys something look down here these are all quartz phenocrysts in this rhyolite porphyry so where there's quartz there's gold at least that's a nice rule of thumb when you're uh, looking for load deposits which is the type that a uh, rhyolite is these are all nice quartz phenocrysts here in this rhyolite porphyry some ruins here at a uh, rhyolite and this is a pretty sizable building that we're coming up to uh, so let's go see what it's about and it turns out guys that this was the bank here at rhyolite this was the main bank in the town back in its heyday in the 1900s and 19 teens and uh yeah some views of the uh abandoned building here and you do not want to enter because of danger. And there's Jude and Greg. Just more shots of this uh, abandoned town. It's, uh, yeah, it just really goes to show you guys how quickly the tide can change out here in the desert when it comes to uh, the economy. They tell you when the wells dry up, the town gets abandoned. Well, when the gold dries up, the town gets abandoned too. Looking into uh, flooring over here it looks like it might have even been tiled over here at the bank all right guys so it looks like this was the bank the john s cook and company bank those were ruins of the bank it's uh shots of the mountains out here i mean there are so many abandoned mines out here you can you can see them you can see the tailings on pretty much every mountainside and uh, maybe we'll go check one out but over here more of the town more of the town over there that looks like a nice historical building let's go check it out not sure what this building was but it's 1906 uh hd and ld border interesting sounds historic all right this column and this column this is what probably the jewelry store was there. over there cornerstone of the building right there and that, see that big, thick-ass concrete? That's probably where the safe was, where they kept all the jewelry. See how thick it is? Let's see if there's some jewelry left. We're going into the uh, abandoned jewelry store. See what kind of stuff there is. Let's go. That's sad. I can see why they put a fence. 
Also, like, imagine if New York... What's in there? Found some more fish in. Going in here. And, uh, there's just a bunch of rocks down here. Look at the ceiling. It's just all rusted. Wow. Sarek 97. Just a bunch of rocks and old scrap metal. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like people tried to shoot this jewelry store up. There's bullet holes right over there and just more of this abandoned abandoned stuff. Don't shoot. We're gonna follow this dirt road this way. It looks like there's more of the town over there going to the foot of the mountains. All right, guys, more of uh, this abandoned stuff. Warning, rattlesnakes. And here's a house of some sort. We're not quite sure uh, what this particular house is, but it's a little bit fenced off and it's really well preserved. I mean, I wonder if someone actually lives there. Jeez. Looking into that house, uh, it's a little bit difficult to climb in because this fence is laced with barbed wire, but uh, yeah, just looking in. All right, let's uh, see what else there is to explore around here. Making our way to this building right here, this edifice. Wonder what it is, let's check it out. Ooh, there's a door. I wonder if we can get in the door. All right, here we are. Let's knock to see if anybody's home. Anybody home? Oh, it's padlocked. Interesting though. There seems to be more on this side. Uh, oh yeah, it's uh, closed off, but let's take a peek in, shall we? Broken wood and crap. Yeah, that's about, it's about as good of a look as you can get in there. Another look in from a different window. Yeah, it's just a bunch of broken stuff. Yep, interesting. What's up? They welded the door shut. Oh yeah, they don't want people going in there to uh, mess up with the historicity of it, but you can kind of peek in, kind of cool. There seems to be a grave here. Um, yeah, let's let's check this out. Uh, Isabel Haskins, I'm gonna guess Isabel Haskins. Um, look at all this. Wow, cross right there. And uh, lots of stuff out here to give uh, respects to uh, Isabel Haskins. R.I.P. R.I.P. indeed. Well, let's go check out what's over here. So here it looks like we've got a bunch of crap. And uh, this is an abandoned something. Uh, maybe it was like a mill or something where they did some milling. I don't know. That's just my yeah, possible interpretation. Yeah, there's rusted piping over there. Let's see. This is where we're starting to get to uh, the uh, hill itself. Uh, this looks like some tailings from a mine maybe um and yeah nothing here there's piping coming out of the rocks though i don't know if you guys can see that um this is a nice fault right here so there's probably was some mining activity around here and maybe this was a mill uh downstream of the mine all right we're gonna take this trail up the mountain and see what we can find and what do we have here folks we have ourselves an abandoned mine. Oh, it's that. It's that. There's some squeaking coming it's from it's the abandoned it's mine. It's this uh, <laughs> metal thing up here. <laughs> You're so squeaking. This is a, uh, I guess we're gonna go in a little bit and check this out. All right guys, so these are all timberings to hold the uh, structural integrity of the mine up. Oh, it is cold in this mine. That's a good sign, it's very well ventilated. Um, but these timberings are used to hold the mine up which means that we're in an area of weak rock that's susceptible to collapse. Um, but if we go in here, yep, it's gated up. But uh, look at that. Here, shine the light deep in there. Yep. It's one of those, oh, that, that goes back pretty far. It looks like, yep. This is one of those gold mines here in the Bullfrog Hills by Rhyolite. So uh, this is as far as we're going. We're not going in any further. We can't anyway. Yeah, we, we can't anyway, given the gate. But even if there was no gate, we wouldn't. Um, because the... The, uh, the structural integrity of the mine. Yeah, it's just it's just too unsafe. It's susceptible to collapse. 
Um, but you know, you can see it follows this rhyolite. Yep, looking into that mine, pretty cool, pretty extensive. Um, yeah, again, guys, just this is as far as we go, and back out to the portal we go. All right, so we checked out that abandoned mine um, right at the bottom here, and we're just going to continue up the trail. Let's go. You can see these rhyolite outcroppings here. I mean, it's where they got the gold, and these are just steeply dipped. You know, that basin and range tectonic deformation out here. And, you know, there's tons of gold in these hills is what I'm told. Tons of gold is what I'm told. Searching for it till I'm dead and old. Just made that up off the top right here. I got bars, boy. We're making our way up the trail towards the top of the mountain here. And uh, see what else we can find. All right, guys. So when you see loose rocks like this, try to be away from them. It's possible that that could be a shaft. Nice views of the entire place. Another one of these mines up here towards the top of the hill. All right, so this is the portal to this main adit, and we're gonna see how far back it goes. More cold air, which means it's well ventilated. Oh, this goes, this one's not gated. This one goes back. Let's see. It is cold in here. This is the main adit back here. Uh, oh, and then there's pillars. This is a, looks like there's a stope here where they uh, basically took a lot of the, uh, you know, ore and then left. It looks like this is a one room mine. Doesn't look very extensive. Oh, there's old stuff back there. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a uh, timbering right there to try and hold up the structural integrity of it. This is one of those stopes. Uh, the timbering has held up. Yeah, the timbering, oh, there's another portal back there or there's another at it back there it seems that the workings of this mine are there's pretty some green right there what is that right green oh right. The, that's just a uh, paint to oh. see what it is um but yeah and then back here let's see over here yeah more stoping uh this is old stuff yeah back here uh, i'm not gonna go any further back it ends right here in this stope but oh my god if you shine the light up there Whoa. there's a lot of timbering up there holding the uh, structural integrity of this mine up. It seems like it seems like this is just due to collapse sometime soon, maybe. But- um, There's a little earthquake here, I doubt yeah. that timbering can hold this, after 100 years. Yeah, this is like an ore chute, and it, it goes up goes up back here, but uh, it ends, the main adit ends, it looks like, right over here. And then, yeah, just more of that timbering, and then Beer bottle. that's the portal. Uh, and then, does it go down here? No, it just ends right there. And then it goes back there, um, but it just ends here. Shun, uh, zoom it. Yep, yes. just ends right there. So uh, not too extensive. This mine is. We're gonna go yeah, back. Little... Yeah, we're gonna go back. We don't want to, uh, you know, kick anything up too much or get, you know, too deep in. But it's really well ventilated. It's really cool back here. Um, so yeah, getting out and going back to the surface here in Rhyolite. Nice views, nice views from up here at the top of uh, the Bullfrog Hills. Here, looking down at Rhyolite and looking across towards Death Valley. Those are the Funeral Mountains right there. And uh, on the other side of those hills is Death Valley. So we're really out here in the boonies, guys. Nye County, Nevada. This one's a little bit more cramped. As you can see, it follows the fault, but the ceiling height is pretty low, probably about four and a half feet. Um, we're going to shine the light, see how far back it goes. Okay, so it looks like there's a shaft on the side of it further back in there. And this one, it's not very well ventilated. It's kind of hot. Um, yeah, let's, let's go in a little bit. It's just this one room. But, nope, if you uh, shine the light down here. Yeah, this is one of those uh, shafts. This is probably the upper working, the upper workings of the mine that we... Uh, just explored. So uh, yeah, this is about it. We're getting out. I'm not getting any closer. Don't want to risk slipping, falling, and dying. Uh, you really want to assess the risk when it comes to exploring these abandoned mines. So yeah, we're going to get out. Yeah, I, th I think that that shaft goes all the way down to uh, where we were, we were exploring earlier. Yeah, this so. is all part of... Yeah, it looks like both of the mines we went into are connected. Yeah, for sure they are. As you guys can see, it's pretty treacherous to get down here. Um, Getting up was a little bit tough, but I always think that getting down's harder. So uh, down we go. 
All right, guys, so coming down from up there, that was the portal we went into to explore that abandoned mine. And uh, there's more of it up there. So that mine was extremely well ventilated. We could feel the cold air coming through, which is a good sign, which means that, you know, that lessens the chance of inhaling toxic fumes or, you know, inhaling anoxic air. Um, but it looks like it follows this layer of uh, rhyolite. And uh, there's a fault. There's a pretty major fault that it follows that you can even see out here. So yeah, that's basically the geology of that mine, at least my interpretation of it after exploring it and looking back at it. All right, y'all, so we just got down from exploring the abandoned mines up in the hills, and we're going to go explore the rest of the town of Rhyolite. So stay tuned, let's do it. We're about to go check out that uh, world famous house made of bottles. So uh, let's drink. Just kidding. Look at that huge bird right there. That, my friends, is a golden eagle. It's a big one. Where is it? There it is. Well, this is that house made of bottles. And uh, unfortunately, we can't enter because there's fencing blocking it. Maybe it's on private property or something, but uh, maybe it's someone's house, actually. But there it is. Getting close, looking at it. And it looks like in their yard, they have a, a little scale model of a town. Maybe this is a diorama of what Rhyolite was. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is about as close as we get to the uh, house literally made of bottles, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool in its own right. More ruins of that town. Making our way back to the uh, train station, back to the cars. Rhyolite, Nevada. Checking this one out. This one was pretty sizable. That's what she said. Do not enter. No entre. Peligro. So yeah, looks like uh, the floor's collapsed, the ceiling's collapsed. Probably not a good thing to enter there. I mean, look at this. Cracked. Crack, crack, crack. All right, let's go. So we uh, we made it back to the cars by the train station and look at this old, uh, look at this old train car. LA and SL, Los Angeles and Salt Lake City. The railroad here went to LA. They uh, got a lot of the gold here and shipped it out to LA. So uh, that's just one of those old train cars. Oh, you can see you. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Do something for the camera. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Such a ham. All right, guys, that was the Rhyolite Ghost Town and the abandoned mines out here. So uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, guys. Thanks for all the support. Peace. Peace.